Lord. Yep. Okay, so hello Carly, welcome to this uh, Helen Paul Kindergarten information interview. Hello. And uh, I'd just like to start by asking you about uh, your particular teaching philosophy. Well, one of the things that I'm really interested in is um, working on projects with children, which we often call emergent curriculum. Um, what I love doing is when we have a little, we notice something or we see something and we get a spark and an idea, and then our teaching team can have a sit and a think and a talk about where this could lead to. Um, we had a child who was rolling a car down a ramp and we were able to extend that into rolling balls down ramps and then we were able to get out different materials so they could explore friction and all the different physical properties of how balls roll and then they were working on if we go higher, what happens to the ball? Does it go faster? And exploring different materials that they could roll down as well. So they had... Um, cubes they tried to, tried to roll down which obviously didn't work very well so we talked about that and so from that one little idea we we're able to expand out into all these different scientific concepts and the children are working together and negotiating and talking. Fantastic that's really interesting um, and I'm a parent of a three-year-old at Helen Paul Kindy and uh, I my understanding of an emergent curriculum is that you set up various prompts or objects on desks uh, that are clustered um, so the students are naturally drawn towards these uh, different selection of objects and then you yes. react to what interests that individual student and you build the curriculum out of a dialogue between yourself as an educator and the kindy student as the learner uh, and so it emerges through that interaction and, and it's therefore customised learning. Is that is my understanding as a parent of Helen Paul correct? Uh, it, can, it can start with something on a table and it can start that way but sometimes it also just it might start from something in the community that the children bring in and that they talk about and will expand from there. Um, sometimes it might come at times we do need to bring in things that we need to talk to the children about like road safety um, so that can also fit in with this kind of framework um, but it is about talking with the children and understanding their ideas and understanding where they're coming from and helping them to develop the thinking skills um, to, to explore an idea. Fantastic and it's my understanding that you operate uh, both an indoor and outdoor play-based program with with this uh, emergent curriculum that you've described. Um, so can you tell yes. us a little bit more about uh, the indoor-outdoor aspects of what you do? Yes, so our children, when they're at our kindergarten, can choose whether they'd like to be inside or outside. So both areas are set up for learning. Um, and so if your child does spend a lot of time outside, they will still get the drawing and the scissors and that kind of thing. We're very intentional in how we um, plan our spaces. And the reason we allow the children to choose is that childhood is for a very short time and they are going to be in a more structured environment moving forward. So we want to maximise the time that they get to choose what they want to do. Fantastic. And so it's individual learning and um, understanding that children learn and express themselves in different ways, I guess. Yes. And each child is at a different space uh, in their development. And so they all have different needs. Some children still need to run around and work those big muscles and develop that core strength before they're able to sit down. Some children... They love art and they need to express themselves creatively. So we always have that available as well. Fantastic. And I note in your brochure that you say that you value times of calm and stillness as well for children to gaze, wonder and reflect. Um, so how does that fit in? We have two amazing big trees here at the kindergarten and some lovely soft grass out the front. So what we can often do is just sit and watch the leaves in the trees and the sun dapple through. Um, we also have our Bush Kindergarten program and today I was just watching a little child, a group of three children who'd had a bit of a chat together 
and then they all laid down in the lovely soft grass together and they were watching the clouds and it was just lovely to see the children have that time and that space with their friends to be able to do that i think most of us probably don't get enough of that right now (laughs) yeah it's much needed and can you tell us a little bit about just the environment um for the the whole kinder community and your um how you conceptualize that um we have a lovely community feel and uh, people often say that coming to Helen Paul feels a bit it feels quite homely um people are welcomed when they walk in um we have some lovely new resources and furniture but we also have some well-loved resources and furniture that um that are cared for and they give a sense of history to the place as well so we're not just a brand new sparkling service we we're quite established and we've got a lovely comfortable feel to our kindergarten fantastic and so there's and there's a committee uh that is involved in the management of the kindergarten how does that work and how could a potential parent join Yes, so our committee is actually run by volunteer parents um, and they are the employers of the staff and they're they're responsible for the service. Um, So what that means is that parents get a real say in our kindergarten and they form real strong connections with the community as well because when you're contributing to the community um, from the very ground, it helps everyone feel a bit more welcome and a part of what's going on.